Good morning. My name is Martin Howe. I am Project Officer for ALMA in southern Mozambique. This morning I'm going to lead you in a very short act of worship and ask you to pray for our friends and partners in Angola. I do hope that in a week or two we might return to a full service of morning prayer, but at the moment we just have a brief little service. Please join me. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. O Lord, from whom all good things come, grant us your humble servants, that by your holy inspiration we may think those things that are good, and by your merciful guiding may perform the same. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. We have a short reading from the book of Acts, chapter 9, verse 19 to 31. For several days Saul was with the disciples in Damascus, and immediately he began to proclaim Jesus in the synagogue, saying, He is the Son of God. All who heard him were amazed and said, is not this the man who made havoc in Jerusalem amongst those who invoked this name? And has he not come here for the purpose of bringing them bound before the chief priests? Saul became increasingly more powerful and confounded the Jews who lived in Damascus by proving that Jesus was the Messiah. After some time had passed, the Jews plotted to kill him. Their plot became known to Saul. They were watching the gates day and night so that they might kill him. But his disciples took him by night and let him down through an opening in the wall, lowering him in a basket. When he had come to Jerusalem, he attempted to join the disciples. But they were all afraid of him, and they did not believe that he was the disciple. But Barnabas took him, brought him to the apostles, and described for them how on the road he had seen the Lord who had spoken to him, and how in Damascus he had spoken boldly in the name of Jesus. So he went out amongst them in Jerusalem, speaking boldly in the name of the Lord. He spoke and argued with the Hellenists, but they were attempting to kill him. When the believers learned of it, they brought him down to Caesarea and sent him off to Tarsus. Meanwhile, the church throughout Judea, Galilee and Samaria had peace and was built up. Living in the fear of the Lord and the comfort of the Holy Spirit, it increased in numbers. This is the word of the Lord. Let us pray. Father, we pray for our friends, their families and the people we know who are starting school changing school or leaving home to go to universities and for their parents who may feel anxious that a precious child is moving away from their protection and safety. Give them strength, support and courage. We pray for our friends in Angola in the Missionary Diocese of Divine Esperanza or Divine Hope for Bishop Joachim Bondo and the officers of the diocese, for the Dean of the diocese, the Reverend Emmanuel de Costa, for Deacon Abra Dongala, the diocesan secretary, Marcelina Avellino, the Mother's Union president. In London, we pray for Christ Church and St Mary Magdalene Munster Square, for Sally Jones, priest in charge, Luke Lee, chaplain to the Korean community, and chaplain of Christ Church Primary School and Nursery School. And in the Anglican Communion, we pray for the Diocese of Mitiana in Uganda, for the Assistant Bishop Stephen Kazimba. We continue to pray for Angola after the recent general election, pray for the conflicts in Cabo Delgado, the internally displaced people and the work of Aprima. We cry out Alo Paz. 
for the new diocese as they serve their people. Let us say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Lord, bless us and preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.